Around age 9 to 13, girls enter puberty and have their very first period. From this day forward, their hormone levels fluctuate, affecting their body, brain and behavior, a phenomenon known as the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is divided into four phases, menstruation, follicular phase, ovulation with a fertile window and the luteal phase. The length of the cycle is, on average, 28 days. However, for most women, it ranges somewhere between 22 and 35 days and can be regular or not. Since menstruation is a consequence of changes that happen before it, we will start our story with the follicular phase. During the follicular phase, the hormone estrogen increases steadily and Leah starts to feel happy, is physically stronger and is generally on top form. Inside her body, her uterus lining starts to thicken and in the ovaries, her follicles mature. Inside one of them is a tiny cell that's about to become an egg. At the end of this phase, Leah notices a change in her discharge. During ovulation, the ovary releases the egg, which makes its way towards the uterus and then implants itself inside the lining. For about five days, Leah could potentially get pregnant. The high levels of estrogen make Leah more interested in boys than she used to be, which is why she's more conscious about her appearance. Her senses are heightened and she hears, sees, tastes and smells more acutely. In the luteal phase, her body temperature rises slightly. Leah has more sensitive, swollen breasts and occasional joint pain, which makes skateboarding harder. Like just about every other woman, Leah can now experience premenstrual syndrome. If it's bad, she wants to be alone, feels moody, and can have thoughts that keep her up at night. If there is no pregnancy, Leah's uterus sheds her thickened lining. As a result, she experiences bleeding and often painful cramps. This marks the first day of menstruation. Leah is now exhausted. She has trouble concentrating, is not motivated, and can't do sports, which annoys her a lot. But soon after, she starts feeling better and the cycle continues. Every young woman experiences a different version of the menstrual cycle, with periods ranging from little to no discomfort to heavy bleeding and intense pain. And about 1 in 10 girls will have to deal with what's known as endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue grows outside the uterus. This can lead to severe and lasting pain during their menses, intercourse or on the toilet and eventually it can even lead to infertility. What do you think? How does the menstrual cycle influence your life or the life of your partner or friend? And how can society support women and girls who experience regular periods of pain and fatigue? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video and want us to make more, subscribe to our channel or support us on Patreon.